most believers have their own vision and their own idea of what they want to do for Jesus, what they want to do for the kingdom of God. Many of them are very ambitious, but Jesus is not interested in our vision, neither in our ideas, because Jesus has one simple commission. He says, follow me. It is not where I want to go. What I want to do for Jesus, that is important to him. That is like little children building sand castles to try and impress their parents. It means nothing to the kingdom of God. What is important to Jesus is for me to follow him. To go where he sends me. To be available for him and his kingdom. To listen to him. And to do what he tells me to do. If Jesus did not send us, we are not following him. Many believers are on their own mission. And they say it's for Jesus. And they want Jesus to bless their mission. But Jesus is not running after you or me. Jesus says, follow me. We can only please him and be of value for his kingdom if we follow him where he sends us, if we go where he takes us. Jesus has sent me and taken me far away from where I ever thought I would go. He is making me do and say things that I've never thought of. But I've learned that if I did not receive it from Jesus, then it is not pleasing to him. There's only one person that we need to please, and that is Jesus. And if we are still seeking to please ourselves, our own ambitions, our own visions, and other people, then we are not busy with the kingdom of God. What is important to Jesus is that we follow him. That is the only way that we can please him. There's an old song that says, Where he leads me, I will follow. How many of us have learned to wait on Jesus, to follow him? Very few practicing Christians know the voice of Jesus. Very few are following him. Very few are pleasing to him. Jesus Christ is the way, is the truth, and the life. But we have to follow him. We have to go where he sends us. We have to live his way. We have to seek to please him. If we don't, and if we do not live in communion with him, in fellowship with him, in obedience to him, following him step by step, then we're lost, we're in darkness. The question is, am I following Jesus? Am I where he wants me to be? Am I doing what he wants me to do? Do I receive guidance from him? Do I follow and obey? And do I receive confirmation from him that I am pleasing to him? How real is my relationship with Jesus? Am I really following him? Or am I following rules and doctrines of men, my own ideas that I've put together from my own understanding of the Bible? Or am I indeed being led by the Holy Spirit? Am I walking with a master? If I'm not walking with a master, I am in grave danger of ending up in damnation. We have to follow the master and do what is pleasing to him. Are we following where Jesus guides us? May Jesus bless you. Jesus Christ is alive and hell is real. 
I am here to introduce you to Jesus Christ so that you can know Him and follow Him and have eternal life. Subscribe to my channel to learn more about Jesus. May Jesus bless you.